Hi, Hi guys! guys. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. It's Ashley. And it's Courtney. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing a Bahama Breeze and Muck Bang. We've never done this before, so we're like... We've been really wanting to do a mukbang for yeah, a while. Yeah, because like, it just seems like great. I mean, you just sit and eat food and talk about it. <laughs> yeah, and I just got... <laughs> So we got Bahama Breeze, um, we got virgin pina coladas, and we got two entrees, two desserts, and one appetizer. We got an appetizer, yeah. And then we got my birthday cake. Yes. <laughs> uh, which I made for her, and I'm sure you guys will have seen that. <laughs> so we're just going to dive into the entree. Every guess, yes. yes. <laughs> Literally, though, the ice cream smells like all my desserts. It smells good. Yeah, both of our desserts came with ice cream, but it's melted, <laughs> so it's like literally milk. <laughs> oh my god, it's a really good ice cream though. Taste it. It's literally like- I just have pickles. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like coconut. It's good? That is so good. <laughs> wow. I like what it is. Cause look, oh my god, they have a cool dessert and it's literally, <laughs> it's literally a whole coconut. Like it's a coconut cake. Oh, it's in coconut a, cake. Coconut cake, and it's in a coconut. <laughs> it's good cake. <laughs> it's good, but it's not what I thought. It's like not warm. Yeah. I got the spicy chicken sandwich. It's like <laughs> eat over your plate. What plate? <laughs> your crate. You don't mean your crate. I got the honey sriracha chicken sandwich. I I had pretzels today and I had a breakfast sandwich. Uh, not enough. Ooh. A little bit. Oh, spicy? <laughs> yeah, but it's good. Kind of... I got Chipotle beef bowl, but I did it without the beef. Not because, like, I don't like beef. It's just because... The way that it is, I just don't like the way it like is together. The beef. We wanted to do Bahama Breeze because we feel like nobody's done Bahama Breeze. Yeah. I we watch McBangs all the time. And I feel like nobody does Bahama Breeze. Yeah. They're all like unless I don't know like I don't think I've seen them yet, but I've seen Olive Garden, I've seen Cheesecake Factory, I've seen like a bunch of fast food places. Fast um, food is always so popular. Yeah. And we also mm -hmm. got is it good? Oh, can I grab them? They're cold. <laughs> well, like, they're warm. <laughs> and, then, and then we got um, the appetizer of the jerk shrimp, which is really good. It's, like, spicy. First of all, the bread is so good. Mm -hmm. And then you dip it. Oh, it's so good. I feel like my fingers are hard because, like, you feel obligated to talk. And it's like, but, I, but you want to eat. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> where do you find the in between? Like, I go in spurs where, like, I get really excited about things and, like, I want to do them. Like, I'll be like, oh, like, let's get a passport and go to, like, Ireland or something. So, my thing right now is Courtney and I have both been watching a lot of Shane Dawson. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and what, I, look, you're like, where is she going with this? Um, <laughs> yeah, where are you going with this? <laughs> because I didn't tell her this, like, literally. I was like, Courtney, like, we can't say anything to each other on the whole ride here because then we're not going to have anything to talk about for this. Because we were, like, nervous about it, but excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good it's chicken. I can't really taste the spice because I just have a jerk's chicken. It's really good. Is that? Did you join mine? I don't like this. You don't like mine? <laughs> okay. I feel like Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I, know, right? I love watching her. I actually like watched one of her like her most recent videos today. Did you get some inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shane Dawson. Mm. <laughs> so we've been watching a lot of Shane Dawson re recently. And I was like thinking to myself, I was like, what if 
I was like, what if I emailed him? And I was just like, and like obviously I wow. can't, I can't do this because I mean he does have a business contact email, and as we know, I'm a film student, and like I know Shane's starting to take like his, like he's always been like serious about it, but like doing more like um, longer pieces, which I thought was really cool. And I was like, what do I email him? And I was like, do you need a second camera person? And I just like followed him around with Andrew. That way he could get more than one angle. Mm -hmm. And like I genuinely like thought about this because I was like, how cool would that be? Because what you wouldn't just, you you would obviously like message him your story. Because yeah, that's what he loves. And you can tell Shane Dawson is like all about like getting to know people. Yeah, like people's stories and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and like, and I really like him. Like I love him and you can just tell that he's just like he's so a genuine, genuine person. person and he's so funny like I love his whole like squad that he hangs out with they're so mm -hmm. funny and, and I feel like if you were to message him like your story yeah. and stuff that'd be really neat. and it's for business inquiries it's not like I'm like trying to like like a fan I'm like hey like yeah. you know what I mean like it's not like that um but <laughs> it's for business inquiries <laughs> somebody famous like that and they would mm. want to reach out, reach out to you and she also emailed or not email wrote a letter to Barack Obama and he sent a letter back to her no nah. I'm so serious you think it's real people though like the real Barack Obama I'm, I would assume I, I mean like I don't even know and I was like asking her how did you get like their information like where to send it I'm sure you could find it like mm -hmm. somewhere but like, I thought that was so cool. Especially, like, I don't know. Like, it's so cool, but with the Barack Obama thing, I was like, I feel like he probably got letters a lot. Like, you but know, I, and he I probably I feel like that's them. really hard because, like, thousands of people have emailed him. And I don't know if you remember, but, like, back in the day, Courtney and I used to read, like, Team Bot magazines. And, like, literally at the end, they used to have, like, addresses to send letters. So, obviously, it's not the real address. I'm sure it's, like, a P.O. box or something. Mm -hmm. But, like... I wonder if it actually gets to them. You know what I mean? Or is it just like a way for like fans to express themselves? Yeah. Like I wonder. <laughs> and then my mom never went. So, so like, <laughs> so we, we like love One Direction and still to this day do. And back in the day, um, we're talking 2013, 2012-ish. Yeah. So we... Like, because we used to read the Teen Bop, ooh, Teen Bop, blah, blah, blah. since we used to re read the Teen Bop magazines back in 2012, um, they, I think they had, like, a letter thing or something. Yeah. So, Courtney and I wrote a letter, and, like, we kept asking my mom, and we were like, you gotta send it, like, you gotta send it, and, like, she never sent it. So, it, it's just, like, But we didn't find out, she didn't send it until, like, later years, we found the letters that we wrote, like, in her drawer or something, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were like... Wow. <laughs> okay. So she got the coconut cake. I got. I got banana bread. Like ultimate banana bread. Mm -hmm. How do you open this? I remember last time I was there. I saw. I was, I was like in coconut. Like that was great. We have our nuts. We've got our butterscotch sauce. <laughs> bananas. Oh my gosh. Okay, that banana is a Do you want me to like drizzle this mm -hmm. on top? Can I try? Uh. Yep. <laughs> I'm real big on banana bread. Like, if it's, it's gotta be good. It's not warm. Hmm. I love bananas, like, with things. Like, I love putting banana on toast. Or, like, Nutella. I actually like it banana. in cereal. I just Me don't too. like it if it gets too I just, Like, I'll usually eat it off the top. I usually don't eat cereal. It's funny you say that, because, like... I just had that the other day oh, on my birthday. Right. I had that in the morning. I made a bowl of Rice Krispies and I put bananas in it. It was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like I know this is literal like milk, but like it tastes really good. So. <laughs> I'm 
Greyhound is an experience. Um, <laughs> comment below if you've ever went on Greyhound. It's different for everybody. This is my second, I would say third time going because like I had the trip here and then I had a, the trip back home and then I just had another trip here. Um, every experience is different, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> the people you meet. <laughs> no, I actually didn't. I didn't talk to anybody on the bus. Well, to begin with, like, the fact it was nighttime, when I saw Ashley last time, like, I came, like, I left around, like, like, afternoon, and then I didn't get here until, like, midnight. Mm -hmm. So, everybody was kind of just chilling, like, nobody was, like, have, nobody had energy to yeah. do anything. On the way back, that was an experience, because the bus broke down, and I was there for, like, ten hours. But the people on that bus, I didn't really talk to much, even though I was there for so long. You think people, like, look scary, or, like, you're like, oh, like, I'm nervous to, like, I don't know these people, you're around a whole bunch of strangers, and you're by yourself. But, like, he was so nice. Like, you know, he was so nice. And then this experience here, but the bus from Delaware to Baltimore was nice, because I sat next to this, like, really nice girl. And then on the way to Pittsburgh, I met this guy. <laughs> he, he sat next to me and he, at first I was like nervous, that, I don't know, like it's just, it's so sad that like we ha we're we like scared to go out and like venture in the world because we're like scared. What like is? Well, just the way the world is today, well not, you know, not everybody's like that, but you hear all these things in the news I and you're like, just like being cautious. Because yeah, you're just cautious. And so, but I sat down, I, I didn't have anywhere else to sit, I was like the last one going on the bus. And there weren't, like, any seats left. So I sat next to him, and he ended up being my new best friend. <laughs> we're, like, we were talking the whole entire time, and the drive went by so quickly. And he was, like, this older man, and he's, like, traveled the world, literally. And he was telling me about all the different places that he's gone to. And it was just so neat. And, like, I was just telling him about my life, and he was telling me about his. And it was nice. And, um... He's writing a book, actually, and he is, like, finishing it up, and he was like, well, I'll send you a copy, or I'll send you bits and pieces of it if you want to read it, and I was like, sure, like, I don't know, he was just so nice. I like the sense of, like, um, like, when you do that, like, it makes me, like, want to travel, because, like, it makes me want to talk to strangers, yeah. and people that I don't know, but it's such a scary thing, because, like, you don't know what kind of person they are, you don't know, like, what their mm -hmm. reaction's gonna be, but, like, I know, like, if you go out in the world and you talk to people, like, you literally just have to start a conversation. Yeah. yeah. And, like, that's something and that, that's, like... I was doing that purposely, actually. Like, I was, like, at first, like, my first time before I left, I was, like, sitting in the corner, or, like, and I sat all the way in the back, or... But this time I sat outside, and there was a whole bunch of people walking around outside, and before I boarded my... went on the first bus... That lady I was talking to, I told you about. Mm -hmm. I, w I was like, hey, like, I, I was talking to, like, random people. That's something maybe that, like, I struggle with in the sense of, like, maybe that's why I don't have a bunch of friends in school is because I purposely put myself in the back. That way people well, don't I do that to too me. at school, yeah. yeah. And it's almost like... I want to be social, but... It's hard. <laughs> yeah. It's literally, it can be really hard to be, like, social sometimes. It's very, that's very true what you say. Like, I'm just being cautious. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I mean... Like, you have to be cautious because, I mean, like, things do happen. And yeah, that's the scary exactly. thing about it. I mean, if you're a female traveling by yourself, like, you, like, yeah. literally you don't know. And I think that's why it can be scary, but it's also, like, inspiring in a sense of, like, I do want to talk to more people. And, like, you can meet someone and, like, they can have a story. And it's so, I think it's so interesting mm -hmm. to, like, talk to someone and, like, find out their story because... Like, people have so different lives. Like, I know, exactly. It's crazy. Like, if I talk to someone and, like, they find out a little bit of my story about, like, what I've been through and stuff, I've had someone say to me before, like, I would have never expected that yeah. from you. And I think it's just exactly. because, like, you look at someone and you're like, oh, they look sweet and innocent, or oh, they look scary, and it's like, you just don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Until you put the effort in to, like, actually talk mm -hmm. to them. So, Omar, um, he... It was just like, we were talking about the crazy, I mean, it was like a six hour drive, like, all the way. So, um, we were talking about, like, everything, and he was, like, telling me how he wants to live in, like, the mountains, and how he wants to own a horse, and then 
He has like this like this big guy, like and he goes Oh really? He, I he, pictured him as like a little He was well he was tall, but he was like he was like skinny, like So he goes I just wanna own a German shepherd and I was like I was like, Really? German shepherds are so cute and they're so loyal and I just want a German shepherd puppy. I don't like any other breed, I like German shepherds. And I was like I was like, oh okay. Steven, my boyfriend, has a German Shepherd, and then he has a German Shepherd mix. So I showed him pictures, and he was like, literally like, oh, like it was so funny, but it was so cute too. Another weird theory that I have is, I feel like if you're talking to someone and you're like really deep into a conversation, I must feel like there's like a brainwave or like some kind of like connection. Like I know this sounds crazy, but like you know how you and I talked and like, oh my god, like I was just thinking that. Yeah. Like I always think if you're like really intrigued or like deep in a conversation with someone, it's almost like. Like, I don't know, it's like you, like, maybe feel obligated to talk about something, yeah. or like, uh -huh. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting, but should we cut the cake and then end this video? Yeah. Okay. Let me get a knife. It's your birthday. That's gonna be my excuse the whole time you're here. Was this in the fridge? Yes. Oh my gosh, it looks so good! Oh my gosh. Ashley! Ashley made this cake! <laughs> Alright. So she does film, but she also bakes on the side. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Wait, why are you cutting over We can just share it. Uh, okay, I was like, no. Oh. I thought you were about to dive in. I was like, I want to slide. <laughs> Alright, I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm nervous. we got fun Fetty cake. Um, why are you nervous? It's a fun cake. Or did you make this? I no. Okay. <laughs> it's fun Fetty cake. It's my favorite. And then chocolate icing in the middle. And then uh, vanilla ice cream. Or, <laughs> and then vanilla icing on top. It's cream cheese icing. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love some funny cake. And I was like, I'm just really proud that it, like, like it turned out like a cake. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, And this was my first time ever doing a layer cake. I know. So, I thought that was really cool. But we hope you guys like this video mm -hmm. and make sure that you tune in next time and like, comment, comment subscribe, you know, and all that jazz. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I also want to share, um, my acid reflex. <laughs> I still have acid reflex. And I really do. <laughs> I burp a lot. <laughs> Literally though, I like the ice cream a lot, but this cake. This, this is not a real coconut. It is. Is it? Coconut looks like that. It looks like too good to be true. It's real. Can you eat it? Yeah. Wow. You really can. Honestly, do you even like the hummers? <laughs> I do!